Monday, August 6th, 1.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at a very unique scenario that's unfolding right now in the East Central Pacific. We're looking at four storms, one that's not named, three that are named. We have Tropical Storm Elena, Tropical Storm John, we have Hurricane Hector, and this is Invest 94. These three on the right shouldn't be any type of a problem for land, with the exception of maybe some rain along the western coast of Mexico from one of these two storms. They're actually at one point going to join forces, become one, and then fade away. Hector is still headed towards Hawaii. There's no room for error with regard to, to Hector. If it moves just a, a degree to the north, it will impact the Big Island directly. If it stays on its current heading, it will not. This is at the GO-16 satellite infrared uh, instrument. This is VentureSky.com. Wednesday morning, 8 a.m., as it gets close to the Big Island. Even at this uh, distance with its uh, position in the Pacific, it's still a couple of hundred miles south of the island. That's the eye wall. The outer edge of the storm, as you can see, will have a mild impact, you know, with regard to some high winds, possibly some rain. That's at VentureSky.com. Windy.com is showing the same thing. Winds of 111, depending on where you look, 113, 118, near the center of rotation, but extending outward, gusts of up to 49, 50 miles per hour. So if it stays on this current heading, it shouldn't be a problem. They're flying um, aircraft reconnaissance into the eye wall this afternoon, and this is a satellite image of the eye wall from just about an hour ago. This thing is a symmetrically perfect, perfect storm. It is an absolute textbook hurricane. I think it's a Category 5, but we'll know later on this afternoon when the data comes back from the uh, aircraft. But there's the storm as it's moving to the west, staying south as of now of the Big Island. But you can see there's just simply no room for error. But here's the thing. The Kilauea volcano has been pumping hot lava into the ocean here for the better part of two to three months. So you know the water in this area has to be a little bit warmer. We know the water is constantly moving, so it's not going to stay in one place very long. But there's a lot of hot lava laying on the ocean floor off the coast of the Big Island in lava tubes, uh, sea mounts, and things like that. So the water has to be warmer. These hurricanes like warm water. Would the warm water or could the warm water draw the hurricane near the island? I don't know. This is a unique situation. I don't think I've ever seen, a, especially a strong hurricane like this, in any capacity head towards a active volcano. don't think I've ever seen it. But that's what we've got going on here. This is a very historic uh, moment. In the next 48 hours, we could see history once again. Hopefully we won't. Hopefully this thing will stay south, but I'm just saying the potential has to be there, especially if these waters are warmer along the coast. And I think they, they should be with that much lava entering the ocean in those areas. But again, the water gets circulated all the time. It's moving around, so more than likely it won't be a problem. But that lava and that water is boiling hot along the coast. It's going to be approximately a couple of hundred miles. Here it is on Google Earth. If you measure the, the eye wall, and we're going to just do approximate now because it's not there yet, but from point A to point B, possibly even 300 miles to the eye wall. If it gets bigger, then the outer edges will probably impact the island. How and, and to what degree, that remains to be seen. But if this thing turns north just a little, like I said earlier, there's just simply no room for error. It has to stay on this, this heading in order to miss the island. And hopefully it will. They've been through enough. That's the last thing they need is a Category 4 storm. But I will share this with you. This is a graph of the high-pressure systems. This is as of today. This will change this evening. They change all the time. But this is a, a screenshot that I took just a few minutes ago um, from WX.com. And you can see the high-pressure ridge goes up to the north. This is on Wednesday morning as the storm is coming up on the south end of the Big Island. That's the L. The L is the low pressure system. That's Hurricane Hector. H, these are the steering uh, mechanisms that steer these storms. See this curve here, how it curves up? 
That means the storm will go up just a little. Not far enough to impact the island, but it will move up some. That's what the models are showing now. This will all change by Wednesday morning. It could go up even higher. It could go even further south. But that's what I'm saying. There's no room for movement with this thing. There's just simply no wiggle room. So we'll have to wait and see. We're definitely keeping a very close eye on this yet another historic situation. As a strong hurricane, possibly a Category 5, approaches the Big Island of Hawaii. We'll have that data later on this afternoon. Right now, it's a textbook Category 4. Could be as strong as a Cat 5. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a super day, and be safe out there.